Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about opacity, navigation bars, and drop downs. I have my simple HTML file here, which has linked to this CSS file and one image in my dictionary. First, let's add this image to our web page. And now let's select that in our CSS file and give this with a 100%. Okay. Now to give this image opacity, we use property called opacity. And we give the values between 0 and 1. For example, if we give this 0.7, you'll see now it has 30% transparent. If we make this 0.5, you'll see now it's more transparent. And if we give this, for example, 0.2, it's more transparent than before. And we can use pseudo classes with this too. For example, we use image and on hover, we want the opacity to be, for example, full. And this is gonna be, for example, five. Now, if I hover on this, you see now our image is going to be regular. We can use this opacity on other elements too. For example, let's say we have simple div here and we select it in our CSS file, give this width of 300 cells and height of, for example, 23 rem. Then we want the background color of red. Okay. Now, if we use opacity right here as before, you can see if we give this a value of 0.5, you see now it's 50% transparent and we can use percent right here too. For example, we can use 60% and it's going to be applied. But another way to use transparent effects on our elements is by RGBA. On background, we know that we have this RGB value and a GBA value that we can give the color for our element. For example, let's say we have 255 on red, 0 on green, and 0 on blue. And then in this alpha, we use the transparency of our element. For example, let's say we want this to be 0.6. Now you'll see it's as the same as we have the red background and opacity of 60%. Next thing that we're going to cover is navigation bars that we can see them in nearly all of the websites and web apps that we use daily. Navigation bar is basically a list of links that we style them in a way that we can use them better. So let's start with an ordered list here. And let's say we have three list item inside our list. First one is our home page. Then we have, for example, contact page. And after that, a page called shop. For creating the nav bar, first thing we're gonna do is to select our list and make the list style type to nav. Now, after this, we have two type of navigation bars. First one is the vertical nav bars, and the second one is horizontal nav bars. For vertical nav bars, we can select our list items and let's give them a background of, for example, green right here. And let's make the text inside it in the center. And if we use a little of padding and margins, for example, I give this 20 pixels of padding and then margin of 5 pixels. You'll see now we have something like navigation bar. But we want these when user hovers on these, for example, change colors so the user sees what he or she is interacting with. So we use our pseudo class of hover here and make the background, for example, red when user hovers on it. So now we have this thing that going on. But as you see, our mouse is not pointing to anything here. To fix that, we use this property and value to fix the issue. Now we have our vertical navbar. Now for making these work, we need to have some files. Here I have my contact.html and my shop.html created. So here, instead of contact, we use anchor tag right here. And here we give the path of our contact page, which is 
slash contact.html and here we can write contact to show in our menu and we can do the same thing for our shop but as you see now we have this link things going on here so to fix that issue we select our anchor tag and we make the text decoration to not and then the color to black now you'll see if we click on this contact or shop page you'll see now we are going to redirect to that page as you saw in most of the web pages, we have our horizontal nav bars in our desktop views and vertical nav bars in our mobile views so to create horizontal nav bar first we are going to delete all of these css and select our list again make the list style type to none then we use our list items and make the display of this list items to inline and then we can select links inside our list items and give the background of black for example and let's create an anchor tag here too the path is going to be simple slash here and here we have home and let's make the color white and then we are going to select our text decoration and set it to none and here if we use a little padding here for example 10 pixels here and 20 pixels right here now you can see we have something like a navigation bar right here and if we give this list a background for example let's make this something like this okay and make the height of this for example 50 pixels and this gap is because our web page has default margin on its own so we are going to select all of our elements in the top of our css file and make the margin of all of them to zero at first let's make this a little lighter let's make the height 40 pixel or maybe 30 yes this is good and give this a padding of 10 pixels okay now it's good and we can again use our pseudo classes to add our hover effect on our items for example let's make the background a little lighter when user hovers on it and actually our mouse let's make this a little lighter too actually we're going to select now as you see we can select which one that we want and we are going to redirect to there and another way of styling our horizontal nav bars is using flexbox that we are going to cover more advancedly but here i want to give you an example of how we use flexbox in our nav bar so first let's delete this one and then this padding this background and let's make the color original black we delete this color too and now if we set the display of our list to flex and use the property called justify content and use space round value right here you can see we have this dynamic thing going on that make the even spaces between this one and even spaces in right and left of all document which you can see it is dynamic and changing by changing our window size and then we can have for example a line here and we can select this line and give this width of 70 percent for example here and then make the margin zero and auto this is a simple nav bar that you can create and you can wrap all of these in nav tags that we have in our html now if we use this nav tags and uh, let's say we want our nav bar to be on top of all of other elements anywhere and sticky to our web page and display so we select our nav here and set the position to fixed here and here we need to give the ul a width so we do the 100 vw right here and then let's give this a background color of 
white. For example, let's say we have lorem 800 here. And as you see, we have our navbar here. And if I scroll down, you see now we have our navbar here fixed on top of our other element. The next thing that we are going to cover is our dropdown. To do that, first we are going to have a div called dropdown here. And then inside this, we have a button with the label of more, for example. And then we have another div with the class name of dropdown content. And let's say we want a simple text here. So we write, this is the test and now let's style our bottom first so we select that let's say we want the background color to be red color of our text to be white we want the font size to be larger and after that let's say we want a padding of 10 pixel and then 20 pixels now for drop down content let's say we want a simple background here with this type of color. Let's say we have a symbol padding of 10 pixels here. So now we set the display of the div, which wraps our content inside it to none. So we set the display to none. First of all, we use our div, which is drop down, And then we say, if user hovers on this, select the drop down content inside that and set the display of that to block now as you see if i hover on this more button now i have this content right here and if i move the mouse out of this it's going to be hidden again and we can have as many things that we want for example we can have another unordered list here with items inside it let's say we have three of them and after this we are going to have another image for example that i have in my dictionary so if i hover on this all of them is going to be shown and if i mouse out of this it's going to be hidden and we can use this pseudo class of hover and fix our mouse style when we go on this more button and as you know we can use this in our nav bars instead of image paragraph or other things we can have an ordered list which we have list item inside this and pay attention that here we are going to use vertical nav bar let's say here we have anchor tag which is our home after that we have our contact and then we have our shop here we going to set shop and contact right here and then here we can select our list set the list style type to none set the margin to zero and then set the padding to zero again and now let's say we want our list items to be a larger font text align to be center and for our anchor tags we want the text decoration to be none and the color to be black. And when our user hovers on our list item, we want the background to change to something a little darker. For example, this is good. Now you'll see we have this more button, which when we hover on this, our drop down is going to be shown and we can use to do whatever that we want with these drop down box please give a like and subscribe to catch next videos